Hey guys, Proper English here. Today I'm going to show you my fast pistonless comparator. Now, as you know, I've been trying to remove pistons from my builds, and comparators are super useful. They're a device that can compare two inputs, A and B, and it tells us if A is greater than B, A equals B, or A is less than B. Now, I've already shown you a tutorial on a piston based comparator. This guy is as fast, as far as I can tell, as fast as the piston based comparator, which is awesome. So I need to do a bit more testing, but the slowest speed that I found for this thing is five ticks, which is the same speed as the piston based one, which is awesome. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a demonstration to show you the speed, and then we'll take a look at this component that allows it to be this fast. In another video, I'll show you how everything works because it gets a little bit involved and I want to devote an entire video to going through how this works, but we'll get there. All right, so let's take a look at the speed. So right now, both inputs are zero, so it tells us that zero equals zero. And so now I'm going to flip B128 and it's going to jump over to here really quickly. All right, and there we go. A is less than B. But now if I turn A128 on, it jumps back to the middle and tells us A equals B. All right, so let's do that. And there we go. Now to show you that this thing is five ticks along this whole thing, it's the same speed for all eight bits here. I'm gonna flip A4, come back here, and this thing will be done before I can get back. It's super fast. So let's try it. Flip that, and it's already there, which is crazy. So now, A is greater than B. So, like I said before, we're going to take a look at this thing over here. This is what allows the comparator to be so fast. So let's take a look at this. All right, so this is what allows us to get so much speed with this comparator. Now, what this thing does is it allows us to disable one of the inputs. Okay, so, for example, let's turn this guy on over here. And so right now, this torch is on. But if we turn this guy on, well, because it's a more significant bit, it takes priority, and we want this to turn everything downstream off. All right, so let's try that. And there we go. So that thing just sent a signal all the way down through all of these. And the way I kept this too wide was by using two separate lines. All right, so there's one line here, but there's also a line coming underneath and, uh, and yeah, so it hits everything and it stays too wide. And so this thing is one way. So let's turn this off and we'll turn this off. And now if I come down here and flip this one, it only hits these bits, it doesn't go upstream. Now there's a bit of extra logic in this because there are a few other things we need to take care of. So if both of these are on, we need a way to disable this one up here. And so I've got logic for that and, uh, and yeah, so there's some other stuff to take into account, but we're gonna take a look at that another day and go in detail about how all of this works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time.